Have you ever wondered how many stars are in the sky? Or how they shine so bright? Or how many fish are in the sea? And how they got their beautiful colors? Or how every single tiny snowflake has its own unique design? We may not know all the answers to these questions, but we know who does. God created every person, animal, and tree. He knows every star in the galaxy and every grain of sand on the beach. The same God who created the universe knows every hair on my head and every dream in my heart. He is the designer of it all, and He knows us by name. He loves us. He cares for us. And to know that is to know something that is truly indescribable. Hey boys and girls, and welcome to week one of our Indescribable Summer. We are so excited to be reading through Indescribable, a hundred devotions about God and science with you this summer. So here's how our book club is going to work. You hopefully have a copy of this at home that you can read with your family. Now I'm going to be choosing different devotions throughout June and July to teach from and to tell you more about, but you and your family can start from the very beginning at page one and read it together throughout this summer. There's a hundred devotions, so it'll take you all the way through August together, okay? Now, like I said, I'll be teaching from different devotions that I choose each week, and you can find them in the book. If you don't have the book at home, you can listen in and just hear the stories that I'll share. That's totally cool. Or if your parents have access to my emails each week, I send them a sheet that you can follow along on too. All right, so are you guys ready for week one? Me too. I'm so thrilled to be out here at the ocean today and to remember that all creation, all that God has made, including the big blue ocean, is for God. He created it so that we can see him at work. And so we're going to be finding all sorts of things around us this summer that remind us of who God is, starting with the sky and the ocean today. Now, I want you to pick up your book or listen along and find page 54. Today's devotion is called All Creation Sings. And our verse today is found in the book of Psalms. Now, your moms and dads are learning lots about Psalms as well in big church. And so we're going to take a look at the book of Psalms at our verse. And this verse was written by a man named David who loved to sing to God. He loved to tell God that he loved him. So we're going to read his words together in Psalm 148, verses 1, 3, and 7. So I want you to find it on your page. And if you have the book, read it with me out loud. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all ocean depths. Good reading. Thanks for following along. That verse reminds us that we can praise God. We can praise God because God made us, but also all of creation praises him too. Let's learn more about that together. Follow along with me on page 54. Everyone knows that stars twinkle and shine, but did you know that they also sing? All night long and all day too, they sing out their praises to the one who hung them in the heavens and called them by name. We know the stars sing because scientists have spent a lot of time listening to the heavens. Scientists aim large radio telescopes at the stars to capture their sounds. One star in particular, the Vela Pulsar, is about 1,000 light years away. The Vela formed by exploding into a supernova as it was dying, and then it collapsed back in on itself with such force that it now rotates 11 times per second on its axis. If that doesn't sound impressive, you try spinning 11 times per second. Ah, I'm already getting dizzy. Well, as the Vela spins, it shoots out a radio frequency, a rhythmic drum-like beat that doesn't stop. And that's just one star in the sky. Not only do the stars sing, but the whole earth 
is in on the symphony. The trees clap, the mountains stand tall and sing, and all the animals cry out from the birds that chirp to the whale songs that echo across the oceans. Our God is awesome and amazing. Our God is mighty beyond our imagination. Our God is indescribable. All of creation sings God's praises because he created it all. But there's something about you that is different from the rest of creation. God created you in his image. God designed you to be like him. So you have even more to sing about than the stars in the sky. Add your voice to God's symphony today. Wow, boys and girls, that is truly amazing that there are actual stars in the sky that sing to their creator God. They make sounds for God. Just incredible. And you know what? Just like our devotion reminds us today, God created us just like he created the stars. But he made us like him, which means we are his greatest creation. And if the stars can sing, shouldn't we sing to God? Yes, we should. And it's not just about singing a song to sing a song. It's about thanking God. It's about praising Him and telling Him that we are so thankful that He loves us, that He created an indescribable creation like the one I'm standing in, and that He takes care of us. There are so many things we can praise God or thank God for today. Make sure to remember to do that in your everyday lives this week. Find something you can thank God for. You see a beautiful ocean like I'm standing before today, say thanks God for the ocean. You have a fun time out in your backyard playing in your treehouse. say thanks God for this amazing backyard that you created and this wood that you made from trees so that I could have a treehouse. There's always something we can thank God for. Take some time and notice it around your life, Miss Me, boys and girls. I want you to remember some phrases from our devotion today. So can you say these phrases after me? Our God is awesome and amazing. Good job. Our God is mighty beyond our imagination. Yes, and now with the loudest voice you can find, I want you to say this after me. Our God is indescribable. Way to go, that's right, he is indescribable. So before we pray, I wanna share an amazing, indescribable fact with you about stars that sing to him. Some stars beat out a steady rat-a-tat-tat beat. Others sing like violins. If you'd like to hear the star's songs, listen to this next clip. this prayer after me. Lord, you are so amazing. I want to add my voice to the songs of your creation. I praise you for who you are and for all you have done. Your creation is incredible. Amen. All right, boys and girls, stay tuned for the next part of our video today as you talk with your family a little bit more about this week's indescribable devotion. We'll see you again next week. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him in the heights above, praise Him all His angels, praise Him all His heavenly hosts, praise Him sun and moon, praise Him all you shining stars, praise Him you highest heavens and you waters above the
praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him in the heights above, praise Him all His angels, praise Him all His heavenly hosts, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him in the heights above, praise Him all His angels, praise Him all His heavenly hosts, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him in the heights above, praise Him all His angels, praise Him all His heavenly hosts. Hugging out like a sumo and I never think twice You the boss of my life, no Hugo And this world not down with us They can try to limit 